Hi, this is Mary from Tonica Marketing Insight. I'm going to take you through a few ways you can format your Excel data. This is kind of aimed at probably marketing people who are exporting their data from a database and they're about to send it off to a mailing house or fulfill a mailing in-house and they're noticing some issues with the data and just want to neaten those addresses up before we send them out. So let me just click over to Excel for you and I'll take you through a few of my top tips. Okay, so we've got here just a, an example set of data. Um, you can see immediately that some of these first names are capitalized and they shouldn't be. Some are lowercase and they should be uppercase first letter and the rest lowercase. So one of my things that I'd do first, I'd probably sort by first name to start with. Um, but I'm going to keep those capitalized ones at the top just to show you what's going to happen next. So once I've kind of had a look at some of the issues just by scrolling down and seeing what's going on with these these names, I would then kind of return to the top so I can see some here are lowercase j for Joe, lowercase Sarah Jane, but uppercase Sharon. So it, it's a bit of a mess, this data, really. It's probably um, been created by a user through a website interface, for example, um, and it hasn't had sort of adequate controls on the, the data input. So I'm going to put in a new column and I'm going to call it first name updated. And then I'm going to use a function in Excel called proper. So that's P-R-O-P-E-R, -E open bracket, that cell, close bracket. And you can see immediately what that function proper does. It fixes that. So instead of Karen all uppercase, you've got uppercase first letter and the rest lowercase. And if I just double click down, you can see it's going to do the same for everything. So where we had a lowercase C for Claire, that's been fixed. Just keep scrolling down, see some of the others. Um, might want to look out for a double barrel name like Jamie Lee. That's maintained those capitalizations, which is good. Now, it, it doesn't always work if you've got um, a lot of Scottish or Irish names and you've got kind of O apostrophes and there's some lowercase and some uppercase, but it is a lot, lot better than it was. Um, so I'd say kind of, you know, just um, work out what's the benefit to your data, I guess. Um, and if there are issues, you can use a search and find to search for, for example, apostrophes to pick up on those issues. For my data, I think it's pretty good. Sarah Jane still maintained the, the capitalization that I want. And all of those look better after our transformation than before it. So what I'm going to do to keep that is I'm going to copy and paste values because I don't want to send this to a mailing house and have this proper formula in there. It might just get a little bit muddled. So if you right uh, left click there, sorry, copy that. And if you go to the home, put your cursor there and do a paste values, that's that one, two, three there, paste values. Uh, it's just going to replace all of those with the name rather than the formula. And that means we can actually get rid safely get rid of the old names with no concern about the formula kind of going a bit horrible on us. So equally, we could do that with last name. I'll just do it quickly. So right click, last name, two we could call it and proper again, so proper on all of those. Double click down to the bottom and they all look good. Yeah, Worth watching out for those, as I said, those Scottish and Irish names, but they all look, they all look perfect to me. And you can see that they've, where that Marshall was lowercase, it's now fixed to uppercase. So again, I'm gonna copy the column, I'm gonna do paste values, that paste one, two, three. And I'm going to then be able to delete this column D. Now, just lastly, of course, what do you want to do with postcodes? You don't want them all um, lower and uppercase. You don't want them proper capitalized. You want upper. So if you go equals upper and postcode and close brackets. And then I'm putting my mouse on the cross here and I'm double clicking, which takes it all the way down to the bottom. You can see immediately that's been sorted out. So wherever I had lowercase, it's been sorted out of their numbers, they're kind of left alone. Um, so you can see here a lot of lowercase postcodes have been fixed. This is a brilliant thing to do if you're changing databases. Um, save you looking at data that shouldn't be like that for forevermore. You can fix your data on one go. Copy, paste values, get rid of those formulas delete that and we're done. So the data is neatened up and ready to go to their mailing house and it's going to look much better on the envelope. You can see I could benefit from doing that on town and county as well but I won't go through that again. I uh, hope that's been helpful. All right thanks.